let's dive into the wild and wonderful world of learning theories, the secret sauce behind how we all learn. Think of them as the GPS guiding us through the maze of education, helping us avoid those potholes of confusion and detours of distraction. Buckle up! First up, behaviorism, the old-school theory that's all about training the brain, literally. If you've ever wondered why you spent your childhood reciting multiplication tables like a robot, you can thank these folks. Meet B.F. Skinner, the grandmaster of behaviorism. He believed that learning is all about reinforcement, rewarding good behavior and discouraging the bad. It's like training a puppy, but instead of a treat, you get a gold star. Key points. Learning is based on stimuli and responses. Repetition and reinforcement are key. Whether you're memorizing French vocabulary or teaching your cat to sit, behaviorism is all about that sweet, sweet reward system. Pavlov's dogs drooled, and so do we. Over success. Now let's take a peek under the hood with cognitivism. Imagine your brain is a high-tech computer processing information, organizing it into tidy folders, and saving it for later. That's what cognitivism is all about, how we process, store, and retrieve information. Cognitivism's all-star lineup includes Jean Piaget and Jerome Bruner, the dynamic duo who believed that learning isn't about being spoon-fed facts. It's about actively engaging with the material. They'd say, don't just read that textbook, take it apart, reflect on it, and put it back together. Key points. Focuses on how the brain processes information. Encourages active learning and problem solving. So next time you're tackling a tricky concept, remember, your brain's not just a sponge, it's a supercomputer. Ready to get hands-on? Enter constructivism, where learners are the architects of their own knowledge. Imagine you're building a Lego castle. You've got all the pieces, but it's up to you to figure out how they fit together. This theory's hero, Lev Vygotsky, introduced the idea of the zone of proximal development, the sweet spot where you can learn something with just a little help. So, don't be afraid to ask for a nudge in the right direction. Key points. Learners build their own understanding, emphasizes collaboration and real-world experiences. It's not about memorizing facts. It's about constructing knowledge that sticks. So go ahead, grab those building blocks and get creative. Finally, we arrive at connectivism, the digital age learning theory. In today's hyper-connected world, learning happens across networks, whether it's social media, online courses, or group chats. It's not about what you know, but who or what you're connected to. George Siemens and Stephen Downs taught us that knowledge isn't just stored in our heads. It's spread out across the web, ready to be accessed anytime, anywhere. Welcome to learning in the 21st century. Key points. Learning happens through digital networks and connections. Technology is at the heart of this theory. So the next time you Google something or learn from a YouTube video, give a nod to connectivism. It's proof that learning can happen even when you're in your PJs. And there you have it, the fantastic four of learning theories. Whether you're training like Pavlov's dog, thinking like a cognitive computer, building your knowledge like a constructivist architect, or connecting the digital dots, these theories shape how we learn every day. So next time you crack open a textbook, log into an e-learning module, or join a study group, remember, Learning isn't one size fits all. It's a journey with different paths, and these theories are the road signs guiding us along the way. Thanks for watching. Discussion time. We just explored four major learning theories behaviorism, cognitivism, constructivism, and connectivism, each shaping the way we learn in different ways. Which learning theory do you relate to the most, and why? Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more brain boosting content. Remember we ensure your creativity and innovations are simplified.